Welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin. Great to be here. So I'm a little bit late. Uh, mad, mad day today rushing around. Uh, but anyway, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Cole's Place. As I say, if you're new to the channel, my name's Colin. I'm based in Bournemouth and uh, we do a live chat every Tuesday night or as many Tuesday nights as we can, round about eight o'clock. So uh, yeah, if you're new, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Okay, uh, first person in, if you can give me a sound and uh, picture check. If anyone's joining us, football tonight here in uh, England, England versus Scotland. So I'm not expecting a big audience, um, but we'll see. We'll see who turns in. I'm just going to log on. There we go. Right. So first in. Ah, right. There we go. I'm live. So, uh, yeah. And evening. And evening, Steve. Evening, Gary. Can you all hear me OK? That's the first thing. Sound and pick is good. Thank you, man. Great. Brilliant. Uh, hope we're all okay. Hope we're all well. Thanks for tuning in. Hasn't the week gone quick? It has flown by for me. I don't know about you guys. It is absolutely nuts this week. As I say, I'm not expecting many on because the football's on tonight. Uh, England, Scotland. But we'll see how it goes. Right, we're flying in luck. Right, uh, quick read your messages. So, got Emily, Rihanna, and we've got Captain Duck off the air show. So uh, <laughs> we're all here, just about present. Uh, right, let's see who's on there. So we've got Anne, got Steve H. Loads to talk about this week. Uh, drop anything in the comments you want me to talk about as well, as usual. Martin, evening, Martin. What's how you doing? David Butler, sound good. Picture okay too. Thank you, David. Patrick, uh, how are you, Patrick? All good. Thank you, mate. Evening, Gary. Saf's in. Saf's in a bedroom. Uh, we've got a bit of an update. She's been to hospital today for uh, a bit of a physio. That's all good. Julie Curran, evening, Julie. Uh, Vinny, evening, handsome. How are you, Vinny? Uh, if I'm handsome, it's better like looking in the mirror. Uh, not really a fan of football. I don't mind football. Big Liverpool fan. I just don't watch the internationals, um, especially these ones and minor ones. Nice shirt. Thank you, Julie. Let's get the shirt out of the way before Damien Hooper clocks on. There we go. Look at that. Surfboards. Hey, and a nice big wave. <laughs> uh, Lynn Sale. Yeah, Lynn Rollins is on. Evening, Lynn. Uh, who else? Rich. All right, Rich. How are you, mate? Let me know if you want me to say anything. Uh, <laughs> still nil nil in a match. Tim, happy birthday to Tim, everybody. It's Mr. Timothy Dowell's birthday. I think he's about 30 years old uh, today. I hope you've had a good day, Tim. I've been uh, watching bits of the walk on catch-up. Uh, looked great. Gutted I couldn't be there, but it looked absolutely fantastic. Massive hats off to uh, the missus as well. Didn't she do well? Absolutely superb. Uh, yeah, even Lynn. All well, thank you, Lynn. Massively busy. Uh, but yeah, all good. All good. Saf saying hello. Everyone says it's a Saf. We could we could do come on the Scots. <laughs> I don't, Patrick, I don't want. I'm not into the international football. Uh, Rich, beautiful. Yeah, I presume you know about my shirt, Rich. Charlie, thought you'd be watching the footy, mate. I'm obviously more entertaining in England. Nice to have you on, Charlie. Uh, Bryony, evening, Bryony. How are you doing? Yeah, a week has flown. Oh my god, and it's been one of them weeks where. I feel like I've got nothing done, but I actually have, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. Uh, Michelle T. Hi, Cole. Michelle Gary, I was in Southampton this morning. Uh, I was over um, uh, the hospital, General Hospital. Tony Bennett surfs upon the shirt. Nice one, Tony. How are you doing? How's uh, old Josie's on as well? Looking forward to seeing you December. Yep, that's all in place, almost. Yeah, Tim's birthday, everybody. Uh, we've got, I wrote a few birthdays down. Uh, so who we got tonight? It's Tim's birthday, obviously. I didn't even get time to put him on my flipping birthday board. Tim's birthday. Uh, Lynn's Paul, I believe it's Paul's birthday as well. Uh, I'm sure she said last week it was Paul's birthday. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lynn. And it's Neil Davidson's birthday if he comes on, everybody. Neil Davidson. So everyone's wishing a happy birthday to Tim. Nicky, how are you, Nicky? Good evening, Hello, Paul, as well. Back to work next Monday. That's good to hear, mate. It's good to hear. Good to hear you're on the uh, right path. 
but you can't wait. <laughs> At least you're off in a good weather. Yvonne, evening Yvonne. Uh, Stuart, uh, what delights do you have for tonight? <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, let's get the, should we do the drink first? Tonight's drink of choice is Jelly Belly Tutti Fruity. Look at that, straight out the fridge. And this, I can't even see it because my light's rubbish. Tutti Fruity flavoured drink with 70% fruit content with sugar and sweeteners. There we go. Tutti Fruity Jelly Belly. Jelly bean flavour. Can't be bad, can it? And I can't open it because it's all wet. There we go. Check it out. I think it's still, yeah. Look at that. Not sure about that. Anyway, it's nice, a bit sweet, as they all are. All right, who's saying hello to you? Hi, Charlie. Uh, Tim, 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 Tim. Rich, I like a hard-boiled about three minutes with some dippers. <laughs> Drink watch. Briny, good thing. Yeah, I'm all well, Briny. As I say, just mad, mad busy. Time just flies. Uh, I'll tell you more in a minute. Uh, is Neil on? Don't think Neil Davidson's come on yet, but it's his birthday if he comes on. Uh yeah, evening Yvonne, hope you're well. Uh, 27 in the room, wow. I thought that'd be, uh, I thought that'd be, I thought we'd be struggling tonight with the football being on. Looks like canal water. <laughs> Rich, zoom, yeah, that's for uh, Tim's birthday. Uh, grapefruit juice, Steve H. Tastes like raspberry. It's sort of, it's hard to describe. If you've ever had the jelly beans, it is very much like a dry jelly bean taste. Wayne Greer, yeah, I'm okay, thanks Wayne. Hope you're well, thanks for joining in, mate. Good to see you in the chat again. Uh, Tim Dowd, I have an extended free trial for Ecamm Live and 30 minutes left on the guest page if you fancy teasing it out after your live. Yeah, might do, Tim, actually. Um, Saf needs to nip out, but yeah, do, do a quick 10, 15 minutes with me, mate, if you want to. That's if you want to waste it on me. Uh, yeah, it does fly. I swear you're alive a few days ago, mate. I tell you, honestly, the weekend just went presume like that. Damien Hancock, evening, Damien. Going to see you in Tenerife soon, then, Colt. More about that in a minute. There's good and bad on that. Uh, yeah, so there we go. 28 in the room. So, welcome. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, blah, 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 what I was going to say, yeah, the vlogs. Um, I've actually got a couple of vlogs all done and dusted and ready to, to uh, upload to YouTube. One is part two of one I did back in um, Tenerife back in July. Uh, I did a trip to El Medino back in July, back in June, July, whenever it was I was there. And um, it was part one. And I bought a little thing that goes on, well, like a little surfboard thing. And uh, I filmed part two over the weekend uh, during Heatwave. And I've edited it finished editing, editing it today so that is ready to go up i'll try and get it up tonight after this live if not that'll be up tomorrow so uh, have a watch of that because it's got a bit of a twist a bit of an unexpected twist in the vlog so that'll be worth watching in fact there's two unexpected twists and i want i want you to watch it and you'll see i'm asking for your opinion on something and i want you to give me your opinion on it okay so that that is and it's a great vlog some I go over to uh, a part of Dorset that is absolutely idyllic. It is absolutely beautiful over there. When you see it, you'll you'll swear I've gone abroad. Absolutely gorgeous. And it was filmed. I waited and waited to do it. I wanted to do it if we had nice warm weather. And last week, towards the latter end of last week down here, um, it was like 29, 30, 32 degrees. And I leapt out and did it while I had the chance. And it was a good job because if I'd have waited this week, the temperatures dip today it's not even in 20 so i'm so glad i did it last week and it fits the video perfect so i'll try and get it on tonight if not tonight that'll be on tomorrow 
uh, and then I've got a couple of other smaller ones coming up as well. So uh, yeah, mad busy. I've not, I've, I've, I've done the vlogs. I've just not had time to get them on. That's all. Right, uh, that's me babbling. Uh, everyone say hello to Lynn. I boiled Tim. <laughs> uh, Tim, happy birthday! Yeah, everyone's wishing Tim's birthday. Everybody, Steve's drinking grapefruit juice. Uh, everyone say to Damien. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There is no one better I would rather waste it on than you. Oh, Tim, you smooth talker. Uh, oh, med mum, evening, how are you doing? From a rainy, is it raining in Yorkshire? Oh, med mum's got a channel, go and have a look at that. Goes out with a little, little daughter all over the show. Met up in pool, I think it was, was it about April, May, wasn't it, I think? God, that's flown, summer's flown. Uh... 33 in Tenerife tonight. All right, Tim, don't rub it in. Even in Bruno, Bruno's turned up. How are you, lad? Hope you're well, not watching the footy. Bruno from Liverpool. Uh, raining in where Steve is. Uh, cold today, can't get warm. Maybe I should put some clothes on. <laughs> Walking around the house in a nude bin. Uh, Cole, what do the numbers mean behind you on the whiteboard? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, Gary. I updated, I did them last week and updated them this week. It's more for the techie bods like Tim uh, and people who are interested. Autumn, now get me to Tenerife for 33, absolutely. Vinny, I'll never get the picture out of my mind. If you go into any phone box up in Runcorn, Tim, you'll see that picture all over the show, mate. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Uh, right, um, so my list, so birthdays, Tim, Lynn's Paul, Lynn, it is his birthday today, I wasn't dreaming that when you told me last week, I'm sure, I'm sure you said it was his birthday, happy birthday Paul if it was, and um, Neil Davidson, who hasn't come in the chat yet, he's probably watching the footy, Scotland v England, right, um, firstly, Tim's walk today, well Tim and Webby's walk uh, for fight against cancer in Tenerife, um, if somebody can, can put up a couple of links, the relevant links, uh, I've watched most of it on catch up. It looked absolutely superb. I don't know how many turned up, Tim. They looked about 25, 30. And you started off in, was it La Coletta? And walked over to, um, I saw you going to the Winchester over that way. Looked absolutely fantastic. You had the girls from Fight Against Cancer in Tenerife, the charity themselves with the buckets, collecting the money. That was good. I think Christine did a sterling job, although. I saw her at one point, she was pouring water over herself, so she must have got a bit hot. I mean, it was 33 now, God knows what it was today, so fair play to her. And it looked absolutely superb. So well done to Tim, Webby, and everybody. I saw North Tenerife man uh, mixing it as well. Uh, everybody who turned up and did that today, absolutely superb, great charity. And uh, I enjoyed watching it, absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, I just got a message off Denise as well. Yeah, so absolutely fantastic. Um, I sent Webby a voice message before. Uh, I believe he's doing another one in October, November, um, that sort of time. So look forward to that. And it's absolutely, yeah, great. So congratulations to everybody who was involved in that walk today. Um, all the football shirts on, absolutely amazing. If you've not watched it, go to Webby Sports Roundup and go to uh, Living With MS in Tenerife, Tim, Timothy Dowd. And there's a couple of videos they did a live and all that sort of stuff and it's all on there and you can do you can donate uh, I think you can actually donate via the fact website as well fighting against cancer in Tenerife if uh, if you want to help them along or better still get to get to Tenerife in October and November and chuck a couple of euros in the bucket then you get a holiday in Taboo then as well don't you but yeah great charity great walk Tim congratulations to all you have gutted I couldn't be there um, because you know when when Webby gave birth to this idea of his uh, back in June July, I was sat there with him when you were all talking about it, and my plan was initially to go over, but obviously with circumstances here with Saf, she was actually in hospital today um, with a consultant, um, so it, it's just impossible for me to go over there at the minute. Needs must here, but yeah, congratulations again. Um, yeah, cheers, Benny. Putting her up there. Mark LFC. How are you, Mark? I hope you're well. Uh, hang on. I've, I've, I've left a load of comments here. Hang on. 
bear with everybody. I'm out of practice. 33 tonight. Yeah, Bruno's in. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Autumn now, get me to Tenerife. Yeah, right, I'm up to date now. So, Vinny. New combo at the weekend. Stuart, uh, Lilt with Vodka. Flipping heck. Uh, wow. Fair play. Lilt with Vodka. That's a holiday drink, if ever there was. So, Stuart, memory. Done firmly. Not bad. Uh, home Ed Mum. Yeah, Sam Home Ed Mum. That's a name. Met up. I can't remember when it was now, Sam, was it? Around about April. We were in pool, weren't we? Joe, should push cat to Tenerife so much for you, Tony? I can do cups of teas all the way. <laughs> I'll be talking about Tenerife with you and Tony in a minute, Josie. Uh, not drank a little for years, but used to love the stuff. I thought they were changing its name. Isn't it Fantatropics or something like that now? Uh, da -da -da. Yeah. I'm doing sound mark, just mad, mad busy as usual. I was hoping things are quieting down for me a little bit now with uh, Saf going back to school and with the summer season ending in Bournemouth. But at the minute, it's just pff, nuts. England goal. Vinny's put the fact website up if you want to go and have a look at that. Great charity. Uh, Timothy Dow, shout out to Carlos Vileco for coming from Puerto de... Yeah, I saw that, Tim. Coming from Puerto de Cruz, yeah. And of course, North Tenerife man as well, because he came from up that way as well, didn't he? I think for the walk today. Tim, don't spend me money, I'll only spend it. Don't send me money, I'll only spend it. <laughs> uh, donate went over. Julie Wade, evening Julie, how are you doing? Hope you're well, thanks for tuning in. Just got in from work. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, Gary Bus Driver, is that 2 0 England, is it? Wow. Uh, hope they sort out treatment soon. Yeah, going to do that. We best be March. March, was that March? Flip here, neck. Wow. March. Gary Payne, evening. Gary, back to Terry for the 24th. Never know, might bump into Tim. I think there's a, still a few people over there. Um, I've been looking on the Instagrams and stuff. I know, um, what's his name's over there? Chris is over there. Uh, Chris Godfrey. There's a, there's a couple still over there. Lynn's my number one fan. <laughs> Lynn's a big fan of everyone, Rich. Uh, so yeah, Tim Vidal events. Is that, Tim, that link you've just put up, is that for your auction? Um, for those who don't know and those who are watching in the background, there is a, there's like a, a list of sports, signed sports memorabilia on Tim's website. Uh, go and do some bidding and... All the money's going to fact the, the, cha the cancer charity. Uh, right, okay, so Saf, first of all, just an update on Saf because I get loads of people asking about her. Um, it's nice that you're all a little bit invested in how she's going. She does appreciate it and she loves your messages. I'm not sure if she's still on the chat. Um, not sure if she's in the chat. She's in a bedroom. She's a bit tired tonight. She's not long eaten. Um, update is... Um, she went back to school last week. Last Tuesday was her first day. She struggled through the week a little bit, but to be fair, I think probably most kids did with it being her first week back. And the heat, you know, it was really hot here. And, you know, we're not like Tim. We're not used to it. So she was struggling a bit, especially towards the end of the week. But, however, first main thing is the school do seem to be accommodating her a bit more now. Um, they're allowing her extra time uh, in her lessons to get from one lesson to another. They're giving her proper ch chairs. Um, they're allowing in most lessons where possible the use of a laptop because she's having difficulty writing. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're making little touches that are just making school life that bit easier. Although, like any 15-year-old, she's still not keen on going in. Uh, but, yeah, so school life is getting easier and it's going to get even easier as well. So that's good. Um, in terms of her actual how she is herself, over the weekend, um, it's been mainly a hips, back, uh, her wrists and hands that have been aching um, but no no massive improvement I think her physio is helping her a little bit she says um, today we went to Southampton General Hospital um, she saw a consultant physio um, it was really nice uh, and basically they've put like a plan together for you know to sort of like time her improvements so just things she can do of an evening where she wants to be in say a couple of months time so you know just 
because the, the underlying message is at her age, if, it, 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 although they've not diagnosed any form of arthritis because the blood isn't showing up, because of the history in the family on the mum's side, it could go into that. So what they're looking at is, is trying to minimise the effect of that if it does, and also help it right now. So they've given like um, a programme, if you like, of just self-management stuff she can do herself in terms of a physio activities, which will, you know, sort of, one, keep her occupied of an evening, and uh, two, just keep her moving rather than just sitting on the bed, holding her hands in the air in pain. It'll, you know, it'll just help her that way. So that's, where, that's what happened today. Um, she's got to go for a blood test on the 20... If she's still in the chat, she's probably going to correct me. There's two appointments coming up. There's a blood test and there's a, a local physiotherapist here in, in Dorset, Paul. She's got to go for those next week on the 20th and 22nd. Off the top of my head, I can't remember which one's which. But that's where she is. So at the minute, it's just a case of she's back in school tomorrow, just getting herself settled in school and trying to get into a bit of a routine and, and keep on moving. So so that's where she is. But other than that, she's, she's good. She, I think she's glad she's got her first week of school out of the way. Um, she's got another concert to go to at the end of the month with a friend of hers that she's looking forward to. And uh, hopefully we're going to book for a little trip over to Paris, Disney in October for half term. And uh, she's got a couple of things lined up as well. So... Appreciate all your messages and all your best wishes for her. I do pass them on. And she does read the comments and it does chirp up a bit knowing that you guys are all behind her. So thank you so much. So that's Saf's update. Uh, right, go back. England 2-0, everyone's saying. I haven't got it on. I was going to put it on in the background, but I thought, nah. Uh, everyone's saying, like, Julie, wasn't fair kids going back last week in the heat. I know, especially with some of the schools... Tim probably won't know this if he's still in, Tim, but a lot of the schools, well, not a lot, there's about 100-odd schools in the UK, Tim, that have been closed or partially closed because they've discovered they've got faulty concrete, aerated concrete in the structure. So uh, a lot of kids didn't go back last week, <laughs> but Saf did. Bring her over for a cure to Tenerife, the island of eternal spring. I said to her in the car today, so why don't you consider coming over in December? Hope the school aren't watching. <laughs> uh, Omed, oh, hope things get easier soon, Saf. Poor Saf, hope the physio works. Yeah, I'm sure they will get easier. It is just a case of time. They're not giving her any medication as such. Um, they, you know, her age, they want, they want her to manage it more. So I think that is the key. And going forward, we see what happens. They're going to do physiotherapy. There's sort of hydrotherapy as well. So uh, at this stage... It, wait and see that there's a big the, the big anger on at the minute is these blood tests that she's got to do in there in a couple of weeks time but she's good uh does sapphire does Saf find relief with the warm weather um yes and no Vinny. um not so much relief with the warm weather but it gets worse in winter when it's cold like frosty cold and damp that does make it worse um, but generally in the summer, I think because it's worsened anyway overall since last winter, she's not noticed any benefit of the warm weather. Um, but uh, I think overall she would find she would find it better in warm weather. Rich, talk about Tenerife uncovered. <laughs> okay, uh, talk about Tenerife uncovered. Uh, about two weeks ago. Um, if you, hang on, I've just seen, lol, no, you don't have to. All right, okay. Fisty cuffs at the football, oh, it's kicking off, is it? Just reading his comments, fisty cuffs, oh, right, I haven't got it on telly, uh, David. I, I, I should have put it on in the background to keep an eye on it. I could have updated people with the scores if anyone's interested. Right, um, yeah, so that's Saf. Um, done my drink. Done Webby's walk and Tim's walk. One more thing I've got to tell you about. I'm sure some of you are aware. Um, this Saturday, 16th of September, um, speaking of charity events, I've roped myself into doing a fire walk. Um, so basically, I'm walking five metres, which is about 15 foot. It's around about five o'clock on Saturday, just before my Saturday gig, great, uh, over hot coals. Um <laughs> In aid of a local, well, it's, it, it, it's becoming a bigger than local charity. It's a charity based down here in Dorset called Amelia's Rainbow. 
and the charity basically uh they um they offer sort of respite and help and assistance to primarily disabled children and also children with sort of uh, terminal illnesses um chronic illnesses anything like that um they, they just help them out with things like days out equipment they've got a beach hut a holiday home all that sort of stuff uh, it's been going a few years down here in dorset it's a very very well known charity and they they run a load of like events locally things like fun days and concerts and all that sort of stuff just to raise funds and this is one of them so on saturday in a, over down the beach i can't do it live because it's right on the beach and i probably won't get a signal but i am going to film it and put it on the channel uh, i'm taking part in a fire walk so as i said five meters 15 foot over burning hot coals barefoot right and uh raising cash that way and it's a bit of a fun day as well they've got djs and side stalls weather permitting all that sort of stuff going on so i'm looking forward to it don't know what to expect i'm a panicking and worried yes uh <laughs> and i'm also worried about going to my gig on saturday night because i'll be jumping around like a cat on a hot tin roof with a burn my feet um but um <coughs> if you look on the community page if anybody wants to sponsor me superb appreciate it i just want to do a quick roll call i hope these people don't mind me doing this um, but I'm going to do it anyway because they deserve a shout out. A load of people jumped in on it straight away and sponsored me. So I've actually hit the target for sponsorship already. And I've still got nearly a week to go. So massive thanks to some here in the chat, some aren't because the foot is on. Obviously, Vinny, this is in no particular order. I've just written, written the names down. Sandra and Mark, Robert Murphy, uh, Anne and David, Anne Elton, David Butler. Uh, my mate Jay from JBM Travels, Steve H, Sean Gale, who's not been in the chat for a while, local guy, uh, Sean Gale, Ray and Madge Duffy, uh, and I've got a couple of other people as well who've sponsored me, but they've, they've stayed anonymous. So if you've done it anonymous, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I've got a few people I know locally who uh, don't come in the chat who've sponsored me as well. So big thanks to everybody for doing that. If anybody wants to sponsor me, I'll uh, stick and just, well, there's a there's a Just Giving link on the community page and we post about it and uh, on the Coles Place Facebook. But yeah, great. Looking forward to it, to be fair. Uh, something different. Never done it before. And uh, I'll probably make an absolute fool of myself. But if it raises a few quid for the local kids who aren't too good, then uh, it's worth it, isn't it? You know what I mean? So big thanks for that. Right. Uh, catch up on the comments. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Right, where are we up to? Fisty cuffs at the football. Poor old Paul. Lynn, Lynn's, yeah, yeah, you did say you got arthritis, Lynn. Uh, Wayne, me and my girlfriend are trying to figure out what Saf short for. Saf, uh, Saf is short for Saffron. Her full name is Saffron Wayne. S-A-F-F-R-O-N. And uh, we just call her, amongst other things, we call her Saf. And I, th she, I think she prefers Saf as opposed to Safi. I, I call it, oh, there you go, she's already answered it. Uh, football's calmed down a bit. Love to see the firework. Yeah, what I'm going to do, Sam, I'm going to film it. I think Saf's going to come with me. If if Saf can't make it, I'm going to take one of my mates with me. Um, I've been in touch with the charity. They're absolutely fine about me filming it. Absolutely fine. Um, what they've actually said is, though, the, the only thing I might not be able might not be able to film, they'd do like a training session beforehand. And for some reason, I might not be able to film that, they said. But it depends on the trainer, but that's by and by. Hopefully, if the weather's... Excuse me. If the weather stays dry, which it forecast is a bit touch and go at the minute, if the weather stays dry, I'll be able to uh, show you what goes on before it. So there'll be like... I think there's like, you know, barbecues and bouncy castles, all that sort of thing. So I'll do a bit of that, and then I'll get staff to hold the phone while I do the actual walk itself. And I think as well, I'll, I, um, I'll try and get somebody from the charity to come on the vlog and just explain and talk a bit more about the charity. I think that'll be nice. And then that'll I can put a link in the vlog then in the comments. Uh, and then if anyone's watching it in the future, they can donate that way. So uh, I think I'll do that. So that, yeah, I will be filming it. So uh, look out for that one. That'll probably go up Sunday because I'll be probably not going to be here Saturday night. Uh, I'll be in A&E. &E. <laughs> no, I won't. Won't be an A and E. I'll be working, uh, so that'll probably go up Sunday. Uh, Saf's 
soft. Try chewing them on the plane. It helps private jets fly you where you want. Yeah, soft. So if you want a private jet soft, uh, borrow one of Tim's. <laughs> Dread flying and I just do it as to get away. Chew loads of sweets while popping and just try to relax. Yeah, that's it. You do have to relax. The ear thing used to do my head in. It was always worse for me going out. The, the ear popping thing. It, it lasts like a whole day or so when you're muffled and hurt. But now I think maybe because I've done a few more flights more frequently, it hasn't. But, um, and I said to Saf, she's got to bear in mind, last time she flew was about seven, eight years ago when she was very young. Now, especially now with her aches and pains, her pain threshold is shot through the roof. So you could probably hit her on the head with a stick and she wouldn't feel it because her pain threshold is probably higher than mine. So an ear pop, now ear pain, would probably be nothing to her. Uh, right, who's on? Kaylee. Evening, Kaylee. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat. Not a name I'm familiar with. Let us know who you are and where you're from. Welcome in. 43 on. Hit the thumbs up, everyone. Uh, try and get my dad to use a private jet. <laughs> yeah, flipping a private jet. Thanks, Michelle. Good luck. Uh, expect burnt feet. Yeah, I've been told you either feel very hot on your feet or very cold or nothing at all, which basically is... Is the charity covering every option really isn't it either very hot very cold or nothing at all evening eugene how you doing uh rich just realized i've been way behind didn't hear anything i've not mentioned anything rich at all pete and shell evening pete and shell hello colin and everyone from fuerta ventura i trust you're on your own now pete and shell you've got rid of johnny vlogger hope you're having a good time guys Hope you're enjoying it. Let us know what the weather's like. All things Tenerife, evening. How are you doing? Nice to have you on. Great cause. Thank you very much. It is a great cause, Amelia's Rainbow. Uh, Vinny, Saf, my daughter. What is the Facebook page, please? Oh, sorry, uh, Sam. Facebook page. Um, Facebook and Instagram is all under Cole's place, similar to the channel. Uh, I think there's links in my bio, or whatever you call it, on YouTube. You know, the, the channel description. It's been that long since I did it, I can't remember. But yeah, it's all in the calls, please. Uh, Vinny, my daughter's an audiologist. She knows all about ears. There you go, Saf. Take Vinny's advice. Pete and Shell, hope you're having a great honeymoon. Is it your honeymoon? No. Tony Bennett, Cole, whereabouts is the firewalk in Dorset? It's actually in Bournemouth, Tony. Um, it's in... If you, if you imagine Bournemouth, if you go down to the beach and turn left... And head towards Christchurch, sort of like in the direction of London, along the beach. It's about two miles along the beach in a part of Bournemouth called Southbourne. Um, and it's uh, on, on the cliff top. There's a little venue called the Riva. Uh, it's like a cafe bar, Riva cafe bar. And they've got like outside sort of catering and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it's a beautiful location. It's right on the cliff top. If it's a nice sunny day, I'll get you some views. You can see right over to the Purbex and right over to the Isle of Wight. Um, so it's at the eastern end of Bournemouth and Pool Bay. Beautiful location. Um, but yeah, it's about, about two miles out of town. Southbourne. Tim Dowd. Oh, mate, you didn't do that, Tim. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll whack that into the fun. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. On your birthday as well. We should be buying you beers, mate. Which reminds me, why aren't you in the pub? Thought you were having a night out tonight. I thought, didn't, didn't uh, I hear a rumour you were going for something to eat? Unless you've been and back, if you are. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Uh, right, Wayne. Thanks, Colin. I was right. My girlfriend owes me a fiver. <laughs> Rich, Lynn is always available for catering. Yeah, Lynn does a lot of cooking. Uh, England, be, England winning 2-0 away against Scotland. Wow. Uh, all I've got to do is focus. Yeah. Focus on what though, Tony? Getting through it and getting to the end. Evening, Trisha. Hope you're well. Sorry you're late. Don't worry about it. Oh, way behind on these comments. They're flying in. Stuart Donnelly. Only bothers me when landing. Uh, usually lasts about a day before me as go back to it. Yeah, same here, Stuart. Right. I land. Then for a few hours... Uh, I'm like all muffled, and then at some point, usually when I'm, when I'm drunk on the first night of the holiday, I blow my nose or I shout, and it just goes.
goes back to normal and then I don't feel anything then. And then when I come home back to the UK, I'm that depressed. I don't care whether I can hear it or not, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> yeah, hi Trisha, hope you're well. Uh, I think Saf's still on Trisha. Um, missed the update with Saf Trisha. Um, basically, she went to a consultant physio today. Um, they've given like a sort of treatment plan that she can sort of do some self-management on. Um, school have uh, upped the game a little bit for her, which is good. She's she's okay. She's still getting a lot of aches and pains. And she's got more physio, blood tests and hydrotherapy coming in a couple of weeks, Trisha. Just in case. Save you watching on catch up. Uh, Eugene, am I doing Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Florida this year? Oh, blimey. Don't say that, Eugene, while Saf's in the chat. Uh, no, Saf, Saf wouldn't fly to Florida. It's too far. Um, last year, we went to Disneyland Paris. We went to Paris for Halloween, and we did the Halloween event thing there, which, to be honest, wasn't great. It was absolutely jam-packed full of people. We couldn't move. And that was at the time Saf really started suffering. That's when I first noticed how bad she was. But it was great. We really enjoyed it. We are looking at going to... Paris again, Disney Paris during Halloween week, but I don't think we're going to be there for Halloween itself. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing something. Probably going to be back in Halloween's the thirty first, isn't it? We're going to be back around about twenty sixth. Then we're going to London on the twenty eighth, uh, and then Halloween's what three or four days after. So I'll probably do something local for Halloween. Um, we've actually got Frankenstein, the author of Frankenstein, is buried in Bournemouth. And it's a creepy churchyard, so I might go down and do a vlog on that on Halloween. Uh, where am I up to? Neil Davidson, evening, Neil. I've got a note, it's your birthday. It was your birthday on Saturday, Neil. Is that right? Belated birthday. Hope you're well, mate. Happy belated birthday. Just had the car park charge from service station at Stansted. Got there at 8pm, partner's flight was delayed, so I stayed there and had something to eat for two hours, five minutes. £60 fine. 60 quid, that's mental. Sorry to hear that, mate. I uh, can't find Cole's Place Facebook. It is on there. Um, you might want to put a space in between Cole's and Place. It does pop up. I do exist. Uh, Julie, come on. It's good that school are helping more. Hope the physio helps. Yeah, thank you, Julie. Um, yeah, school... Last year, I think it was not out of intention, but a little bit out of, they weren't quite sure whether, not that they didn't believe her, but they weren't sure of the extent of how bad she was. Since they've had the diagnosis and, the, and all the doctor's letters, they know how bad she is now. So they've got up off the backside and done something. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's saying hello to everybody. Blah, blah, blah. 60 quid, that is harsh for a cut for a pad van. Ali Bennett, evening Ali, love the shirt, thank you Ali. This one's quite an old one, I've had this one since, oh. I'm guessing, this one's really old, I've had this about 20 years this one, this one's about 2003, something like that. Surfboards and waves. It's huge, must have lost weight. But yeah. I hope you're well, Ali. Nice to have you on. 42 in. Thank you, everybody. I wasn't expecting many on tonight because of the football. Great. Uh, Tim, Chris and I were knackered. Ah, so we decided to go and buy an Indian, which is next to Monte Cristo. <laughs> Did you pop in for a drink? We won't tell it, Tim. Make the most of your birthday, Tim. You're 31 next year, so uh, you need to make the most of your youth. Uh, yeah, hit the thumbs up. Thank you, all things Tenerife. Uh, hydrotherapy is the best yet. One of her schoolmates had a bit of hydrotherapy recently, and he said it was quite tiring, but he could, there's obvious, obviously benefits to it. Uh, Tony Benefit. Tony, Tony Benefit. Tony Bennett. Tony Benefit. Where'd that come from? Tony Bennett. Tinnitus in both ears. Really worried about flying. Ears have only popped four times in six years. You know how that is, Tony. It's because you've got Josie down your ear giving it that when you're landing. Your ears aren't going to pop, are they? Only joking, Jose. Uh, Stuart, uh, lots of folks say the prices for Tenerife next year are mental. What's that all about? 
Okay, Tenerife. So, um, my plans are, uh, I'm trying for October, okay? Again, with me work, it's touch and go. I don't sound as though I'm making excuses because I'm really not. I'm desperate to go over there, uh, desperate to get involved in Webby's walk with Tim. Um, hoping for October. If not, I'm looking around about December first week or two. I think Tony and Josie are going from the third to the fourteenth or something like that. Um, so I'm hoping to sort of hit those dates. Uh, I'll come, definitely December because it's as Tim's thirty one thirty today. Uh, I'm twenty five in December, and uh, I want to be there for that. And also, uh, I know it's probably if I don't make October or November, it's probably a bit late for Webby's walk. But I want to do something for Webby's charity over there while I'm there as well. Um, so definitely, definitely hundred percent December, and I'm going to try and squeeze October. In terms of prices, um, I've not looked at next year, but at the minute, I was I was weighing up. Although it's only Ryanair, and it's say only Ryanair, it's Ryanair from Bournemouth. Um, the flights last I was looking last night at the flight prices in December. Um, I can get a return flight from Bournemouth, which is about the airport's about three mile away from where I live. Uh, I can get a return flight for ninety pound. Uh, I can get an Airbnb uh, holiday apartment for about fifty, sixty euro a night, which is nothing. So. That's what I've been paying last year and this year. So I haven't seen any massive hike, although I, I would imagine next year in the summer and during kids' holidays, I'd imagine the prices are going to shoot up for everything. That's what I think. But if you know better, tell me. Uh, hang on. Comments are flying in. Damien Hooper, evening Damien, how are you doing? Jesus, I'm late like a bird going out. Looking dapper, Col. Did everyone send him birthday wishes? Yep, we've uh, we've already uh, sent him birthday wishes, Damien. Hope you're well, mate. Hope you're good for the start. Hope, hope, you look, hope you're feeling good. Yeah, Tim's 30th today, Damien. If you've not seen the uh, vlog he's put on, they did the sponsored walk. Uh, he's looking every, every minute of his 30 years old. He's made a kind donation to my little walk on Saturday as well. Which I'll put in the charity pot, and uh, yeah, so uh, we've all we've all we've all pulled his hair thirty times, so he has he's got even less now. Rich, I bet you used to be a championship surfer. No, mate, nowhere near. Um, when I lived down in Cornwall years ago, I was uh, you know like in PE when you get when you get the kid who's useless useless at football being left to the back. That was me in the lineup in the waves in Newquay. So uh, I'd wait I'd wait till everybody else went, then I'd jump on and catch the dregs of the waves and stay on as long as I could and then end up falling off in it in my head. And I couldn't do it when the water was cold either. That, that, that's the only reason why my surfing never progressed to its true potential, because I'm a wimp and I don't like cold water. Uh, Neil, probably stands to this, I flight to delay, you have nowhere to park up locally. I spent 18 quid on food and drink, flipping it. That's an expensive night for you, that, mate. No signs were seen. It's my... I tell you what, Neil, years ago, right? Uh, sorry if this bores anyone, but just a, a thing, right? Years ago, me and Saf's mum, uh, we flew out from Stansted a couple of times, and on both occasions, what we did... Um, the airport parking was like 80 odd pound for a week and I found there was airport parking I know this is no use to you because you're just flying from there oh what, what's the name there's a football club there's a football ground near Stansted Airport it's a non-league club I can't remember the name of it now and they did airport parking at what seemed to be half the price of everywhere else. There's a B in the name. I can't think of the name of the town now. It'll come to me. Yeah, the, the airport parking. I'm going back a few years, but it's half the price of everyone else. And it was about two miles away from the airport, like 10 minutes shuttle. And you parked your car in the, in the private car park around the back of the football ground. Bishop Stortford. Bishop Stortford, that was it. And uh, they took you around in like a transit minibus or whatever. And 
we went we went for we were there in winter for some reason there was a winter one and we did a summer trip as well and um then we went a third time and i couldn't find the football ground right this was the last time i flew from stansted because you, you don't have to book that's the thing you just turn up and pay and i couldn't find this football ground so i pulled up and it was in bishop Stortford town center and the taxi driver, there was a taxi rank, and I said, I, I ran over to the taxi drivers and I said, where's the football ground? I need to do some airport parking. And he went, don't bother. He goes, follow me. He goes, I'll take you somewhere around the corner where you can park your car. And we followed this taxi and he took us onto this really posh housing estate. And the road going into the housing estate, right, was like, it was like, these houses are huge and there's a road going up there was all these big posh cars parked up. It was well lit. There was all these like BMWs and Mercs and all sorts of big posh cars. And he goes, just park your car in amongst them. So there was me at the time. I had a Ford Mondeo. So I put me Mondeo in amongst all these cars. And he goes, right, I'll take you to the airport. He goes, your car will be fine here. Because I think there was like a police station or something on the road. Anyway, he was telling us this road is where all the pilots and cabin crew for the airlines park their cars when they're working and what they do is they just jump in a taxi the taxis wait at the bottom of the road and the taxis take you to Stansted and again I'm going back a few years now it wasn't that long ago about 10 years ago or whatever and it cost us like seven pound in the taxi and he gives us his card he says when you land ring the taxi company up we'll come and get you and take you back to your car and we went back and the car was as safe as houses because there was a police station or something there was a security officer or police station down one end of the road and there was, he said there's pilots coming in all night so there's, he says there's people coming and going 24 7. so if that road still exists it's it's not far from the football ground and the main taxi rank so that was the last time i parked at stansted bishop storford <clears throat> uh right where am i up to i think i'm in trouble with jokes here. i've just seen a big comment all right just <laughs> Damien Hooper, dietitian told me to eat more fibre like I need. Yeah, all right, too much info, Damien. If I do, I'll become invisible. <laughs> uh, how's your child? Saf's fine, Damien. She has been in the chat. She's in the room at the minute. She's got school tomorrow. Um, we are nipping out shortly. Um, but yeah, she's absolutely fine. Been to a, a consultant physio today. She's got some exercises and bits to do. Timmy, don't do the walk. Do the webby sit in the pub instead. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, good blog, good uh, vlog today. I agree, Eugene. Superb. If it's, it's on catch up, everybody. If you want to see Tim and uh, Webby do that, it's on catch up. Josie, wait till I see you, Colin. Not in tone, is it? You'll have to buy me a drink. Big one for forgiveness. <laughs> Gonna get you a drink anyway. Uh, Tim, now oh, 60 euros. 60 euros a night. I'll shove Chris out on the balcony. You can have half the bed. <laughs> you should be paying 60 pounds a night to, sp to sleep with me, Tim. Oh, excuse me. That's what the holiday apartments are charging now, Tim. That is in um, Park Santiago. I'm not sure which one it is because I can never remember which one's which. It was 50, 50 or 60 euro a night in December. And it was the Park Santiago, which is opposite the Tandoori Curriot, whatever it's called. Tandoori Curriot. If you come out the Tandoori Curriot in that spice restaurant, next to it and you cut the steps and if you go that way you got the patch all right I'll, I'll do it so you look and see what i'm doing out the tandoori hut in las americas over there's the patch right in front of you there's a park santiago and there's some shops underneath it right not the one on the golden mile the one opposite tandoori hut it's at park santiago there there's a private apartment in there that they do i think it was 54 euro a night or something like that uh, right, uh, Italy 2 1 up at Ukraine. Champion beer drink. I, was, I wasn't even a champion beer drinker, Stuart. I was a lightweight. I'm way behind on the comments. Do apologise if I'm missing any comments, anyone. Kevin Stamps did do the walk, but followed him. Well done to everyone. Yeah, absolutely agree, Kevin. Neil Davidson, Bishop Storford, that's it. Cole, don't make me come around and take that pen off you. Stop tapping. Sorry, I put the pen down. 
Uh, yeah, Damien Upa's looking at going in December. Tim, I hope you booked a whole of Teresa restaurants. You've got about a thousand people to meet you at Monday Meetup. <laughs> it's going to be a big one, Tim. Johnny Vlogger's going as well. As a scouser, you could have had the pick of your Mercs and BMWs. <laughs> Who says I didn't? Uh, Josh, <laughs> Uh, calls a Roman, yeah, I'm more Welsh than anything. Moira, evening Moira, Moira Fitzsimmons, long time no see. Hope you're well, Moira. Thanks for joining in. 50 in the chat. Thank you so much. Nice to have you on, Moira. Hope you're well. Uh, Rich, call I'm sure you're a great sleeping partner. Depends what night of the week, Rich. Do you want me to say anything, Rich, by the way? Do you put a yes or no? Because I'm on for about another 15 minutes. Uh... I'll whiz through the uh, comments. Vinny M, where's your BMW? Vin, Vinny, Vinny's from Runcorn, Tim. They don't have BMWs in Runcorn. Days of 30 or a night are far between, although Kev always seems to sniff them out. Yeah, if you're not fussy where you stay, uh, you, you'll get 30, 40 or a night if you get the right time, a la Scotsman Kev. But I think those days in Tenerife, even those days are gone now. I think Kev's publicised the hostels too much. They're doing too well out of him. Uh, Moira's doing fine. Rich, yes, you can. All right, Rich, give me five minutes. Uh, Steve, can you do a vlog for the parking spot in Bishop Storford and get a postcode? Yeah, I'll try my best, Rich. Uh, I'll go on Google Earth and find it, and I'll, I'll do a, a quick number on it. But I will put a disclaimer on. One, if they've painted double yellow lines, <laughs> not my problem. And if you get your car done in while you're away, don't blame me. But it was perfectly safe. Um, and what the taxi driver said was, he goes, the reason it's safe is because there's taxis at the bottom of the road 24 hours, literally sitting there in a taxi rank. And I'm sure he said there was a police station, which I don't know if that's still there. It was only a small police station. And he said the main thing is the reason why it's safe is because all times through the night and day, you've got the... All the pilots turning up, picking their cars up when they've finished work or starting work. So the, there was people constantly coming and going while we were there picking cars up. And it was a big, long road with posh houses. I'll try and find it. <coughs> and if I find it, I'll put some pictures up. Uh, there, right, guys, off on my walk with my dog, Casper. Have a good walk, Damien. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for tuning in. Keep well. Keep in touch. I'll let you know about December dates. Moira, I don't chat much on vlogs now. I have eye problems, but I still watch it. I'm sorry to hear that, Moira. Hope, you, hope you're uh, popping up, though. Hope you're okay. Col, have I got my new tattoo yet? No, not as yet. I was in touch with my tattooist the other day, funnily enough. Uh, that I don't know when that's going to be, or I might just save myself for Tenerife. That'd be fun. Uh, lovely seeing the chat, Moira. Yeah, absolutely lovely, Moira. Thanks for popping in. Lynn saying night to Damien. Josie, we'll see you before Tenerife. Told Marsh and Steve, get down to Bournemouth. Might be a bit cold, so indoor live. Yeah, uh, I've got a good venue. I, I'm, I'm priming a venue to do an indoor lives for the winter. Um, a, a nice, sort of quietish one. Which reminds me, watch this space. I've got to work on this. I might have a special guest in the next week or two down here who will appear, if not on a live, certainly in a vlog. If not in a vlog, maybe even an Ask Me Anything. Very special guest. Talks are in progress. You were moved by the two silly cows. Emily. Rihanna. Steve H. I was looking on Google Maps, trying to find it. It's flying out in a couple of weeks. Damien, I'll, I'll have a look. Uh, tomorrow daytime, I'll have a look on Google Maps. I'll have a look on Google Earth, see if I can suss out where it was. And if I can, I'll I'll put some up, I'll, I'll, I'll screenshot it and, and make a little mini short or something about it, like a handy hint. I'll see if Saf's mum can remember the nation. Saf's mum was good at remembering names of roads, but it was a few years ago now. Uh, I, I'm way behind on the comments here. See, uh, see before Terry, if Tom Marsh and Steve. Yeah, so yeah, if you, if you come down, um, Josie, yeah, Defo, yeah, absolutely. It'd be, be great to meet up again for, for Tenerife. 
Uh, Eugene, what's your favourite of Christmas sweets? My favourite Christmas sweets are roses, chocolates. Um, ooh. Uh, heroes, miniature heroes. I like the selection better in miniature heroes. Trisha, Scotland getting beat 2 0. We won't mention that, Moira. Uh, Tim's put a link up if anyone wants to go with Tim straight after me. Yeah, I'm going to finish at quarter past nine, Tim. Uh, did you see Leela McMaster isn't a Sun newspaper today? I don't read the Sun, Eugene. I've, no, I've not read the Sun ever. Uh, I'd like to read about Lee, but not in the Sun. Uh, <laughs> Do it. Don't park your car in Bournemouth then, Damien. If you're flying out from... I don't know where you're coming from. If you're ever flying out in Bournemouth, right? I only live literally 10 minutes away from the airport. I can show you where to park in Bournemouth. Close to me, that's pretty safe. And I'd be happy to run you out to the airport, no problem. That's not an issue, seriously. <laughs> Tim, stereotypical clown. Too much risley. Scouts as a sound. Scousers are sound, Tim. It's a big myth about old nicking wheels and nicking BMWs. <coughs> and even even if we're, I'm not Scouser from Chester, but even if we did, we're not stupid enough to get caught. Uh, yeah, Anne, Anne and David are going on a 21st, a week on Thursday. Oh, I bet you look forward to that. The weather's going to be piping as usual. Right, I think that is it. Uh, what have we covered? Tim's birthday, update on Saf. My dodgy drink this week has been Tutti Fruity Jelly Belly. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it. It's a bit too sweet. I like some of a bit of... I thought it was fizzy. My fire walk on Saturday. Um, in terms of vlogs, uh, I've got a vlog coming up, which is part two of me, El Medino 1, from July when I was over there. And... If you get, it's a little bit longer than my normal vlogs. It goes on for about 20 odd minutes. But if you get a chance to watch it, watch it because there's a couple of twists in it and I want your opinion on something I show you in the video. I'd be interested on your opinion. And uh, yeah, it's a good vlog. And where I filmed it, as I said before, it's an absolutely idyllic spot, absolutely beautiful spot. So if you don't watch it to listen to me or watch me. Oh, and there's a, there's a quiz question in it as well. Oh, it's a vlog that's got everything. There's a pop quiz question in it. See if you can guess the uh, pop quiz question. So, yeah, watch that. That'll be up tomorrow, if not tonight, tomorrow. Uh, I've got another local vlog going up as well that I've done. Uh, and I'll be doing some stuff over the weekend as well. I can get out to film them. It's just getting time to get them up on YouTube. That's the bugbear for me at the minute. <coughs> uh, just to recap as well, Tim and Webby's walk, fight against cancer in Tenerife. I'll be putting a link in the comments for anybody who's not seen the vlogs they did today. Absolutely awesome. Fantastic. Support them. Anybody in the background who's not familiar, uh, Webby and Tim are both based in Tenerife. Tim's a long-time YouTuber, one of the masters of the art, and uh, he's put stuff up. And uh, they're, doing a, they're doing sponsored walks over the next two months along the Maritime Walkway for a charity called Fight Against Cancer in Tenerife, which is helping people who suffer uh cancer over it on the island and helping them out so it's a great cause so uh, have a look at their videos and give them whatever support you can one more thing to mention before we go a couple of you might have seen in the comments uh rich call that gold chain was worth at least 10 grand you've lost me now rich what gold chain uh, let me just catch up on the comments, then I'll, I'll tell you something. Uh, don't pack your kind of there, and just what you said before. Special guest must be someone good. Special guest is somebody very good, somebody excellent. Uh, I've got a ask me anything with somebody here who none of you will probably know, or some of you might know. Um, but I've got possibly somebody coming to visit who will be fantastic. Can't wait. Uh, Yvonne, love flying from Bournemouth, great airport. Yeah, you fly straight out from Bournemouth, there's no hanging round. Uh, great airport. Tony Bennett, listening to the greatest Beach Boy albums for our duet in Rick's Dylan's Bar, Tenerife. Keep practising. <laughs> and wear a shirt with a zip, not buttons. 
Uh, Aya Sarah, Sarah Charles is in. Nice to have you on, Sarah. We've got 50 in the chat. Hit the thumbs up, people. Uh, Moira's off. Moira, thanks for tuning in, Moira. Take care of yourself. And uh, hope to see you on again. Thanks for coming on, Moira. Really appreciate it. It's nice to see your name from uh, from the old days on the on the vlogs. Appreciate that. Lynn, where I live, I'm only an hour away from the airport. We get a taxi. It costs us a tenner. Yeah, Lynn lives in the posh part of Liverpool. Uh, Eugene, cheers, Eugene. Bye, Cole's place. See you next one. Thank you, mate. Uh, Cole, what was you going to tell us about Rich? I haven't forgotten Damien. I'm going to tell you in a minute because he's still in the chat. I want to do it before he goes. It's Craig. Evening. Uh, it's Craig in Tenerife. Met Tim Webby and Kim. Nice one, Craig. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Fact website. Cheers, Vinny. Over 700 euro raised. Excellent. Nice one, Craig. Uh, well done, Tim and Webby. 700 euro raised. Wow. All things Tenerife. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that. I'll be putting a video up of the walk as well. Yeah, appreciate that. You need to guess who the special guest is. Is it Johnny Vlogger? No, it's not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to go on about who the special guest is because uh, it's not confirmed yet. As, as soon as it's confirmed, I'll, I'll put something up. Rich, who's just put a laughing emoji in the chat. Right. I was going to reveal this last week, but between myself and him, Tim, you're going to be interested in this, and anybody who's been watching the vlogs for a long time with like Lee. Matt Master, Dan, uh, Andrew, all the usuals. Anybody who's going to be in it in a long time. Can anybody guess who Rich in the chat is? I met this guy, not last weekend, the weekend before, during Bournemouth Air Festival. He came to Bournemouth, um, messaged me privately, and we went for a pint. And he showed me on no uncertain terms who he, proof of who he was. And we had a good chat, and uh, he's a great guy. Rich is not Rick, no. Rick's in Tenerife working tonight. Rick's at Dylan's Bar doing his karaoke thing. Well done, Tim. <laughs> I think Tim got it with the Zooms earlier. Yeah, Rich is actually the man, the legend, or one of them behind the original and only the original Tenerife Uncovered. This is what I must stress. Before anybody starts giving him stick, uh, Rich... And one of his mates were the original people behind the original first and only the first ever Tenerife Uncovered. I think I'm right in saying that, Rich, aren't you? Um, they didn't do Tenerife Uncovered 2, 3 and 4 and all those. All the others were parodies and copies. Uh, he didn't approve of all the bullying comments. He did it purely because he, they do the similar thing, I believe, with other YouTubers not connected with Tenerife. Um, it's just you know a hobby they do for fun. And they, they found the Tenerife vloggers and they, they did the Tenerife Uncovered original channel. Um, by no means did he want any of the dodgy comments that were coming up. And he wasn't um, connected in any way with Tenerife Uncovered after that. It was just purely the original channel where initially it was fun and we all found it funny. So, uh, yeah, big kudos to him for uh, revealing himself. And, uh, yeah, and he's a great guy. He's from the Midlands way. Just a normal fella. And here's a fact about him. He's never even been to Tenerife. Never even been to Tenerife. Never met Tim or Lee or any of the other guys. Never even been there. He just did it as, as a bit of fun. So there you go. Tenerife uncovered. <laughs> uh, right, where are we up to? Yeah, covered. and and guessed it. Data does no, he wasn't data does Tenerife uncovered. Uh, evening, Lynn. F Lynn from Fermanagh. Hope you well, Lynn. <laughs> when they were funny, yes, indeed, Tim. Because it was funny at first. It, I thought the actual. My opinion is, and I told Rich this last week, and I think I've spoken to Tim about it. My opinion of the Tenerife uncovered channels. It was before. It was before my channel. Rich's channel, Tenerife Uncovered, the original channel, was before I started doing videos myself. Although I did crop up in a couple of others later on that he did, uh, which I didn't mind. I thought it was funny. What he did on the channel in terms of the context, the clips and all this that and the other was funny. It was funny to see them out of context, things that Tim would say or I'd say or Lee would say. What wasn't funny was later on when 
some of the trolls got in the comments and started having a go. Uh, and I told Rich this last week, and it, Rich agreed, I think he agreed to an extent, he, you know, because that was not what we wanted. And eventually his channel was taken down and he stopped then, him and his mate, they stopped. And then other people started doing it and that's when it turned silly. And I've seen proof of that, okay? He showed me proof, so uh, yeah. Uh, it's great, Tim. If you're on, thanks, uh, Christine. Yeah, both enjoyed the Indian when they were funny. Well done, Rich. Yeah, I thought there'd be some love for him. Uh, did I, Tim? Did I don't think it was you who got him banned, Tim. Uh, I'm sure Rich will say. Uh, Rich is now uncovered. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's never even been to Tenerife. But he said he feels like he knows Tenerife like the back of his hand because he's done that much footage scouring and putting that much up. He feels like he knows it as well as the rest of us. Because <laughs> I said to him, I was describing him a part of Tenerife that I did a walk on, and he was nodding his head because he'd, he'd seen this walk done that many times by McMaster and Andrew and all the others. Uh, he said, I feel like I know it. So, yeah. We're all going in. We're all going in December, Rich. I met Rich and his young daughter, who, who was lovely, and we had a drink in uh, the posh hotel he was staying in down by the pier. So uh, we're going in December, Rich. You'll be more than welcome. Uh, golf for Scotland. have pulled one back. Tim was one of the three. Yeah. <laughs> Thought you were going to say Tenerife Tez. Now I've never, Stuart. I've never met Tenerife Tez. Uh, I've seen a few of his videos. Never met him. There we go. Oh, t Tim was one of the ones who got you banned. Sorry, Rich, didn't know. Sorry, Tim. But it's all peace and harmony now. It's all done, all in the past. It was fun while it lasted. And I think Rich's biggest regret, again, correct me if I'm saying this wrong, Rich, uh, was that your ban came as just as you hit the 1,000 subscribers. So, because <laughs> I remember you did a live or you did a big vlog when you got to 1,000 and everybody was going on congratulating you. I think Crackmaster went on. There's a few people who went on in the comments saying, well done for it in a thousand. And then it was not long after that, you got tucked down, which is a bit of a shame. <coughs> so there we go. Rich, Tenerife uncovered. <laughs> Don't worry, Rich. I'll, I'll pass Tim your number and he, he can give you three in the morning phone calls. <laughs> uh, Rich, if you come to Tenerife, make sure you wear your Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> He, do you know what? I'm not messing. He'd fit in well because uh, he likes a pint. Regular fella. One of the lads. You know. And uh, yeah, he'd, he'd probably fit in well, actually. He can go and sit with Andrew. But he's... And it's, I've not been watching. Um, I know Andrew has bought Buddy's Bar. Um, or he's invested. He's got some sort of investment in Buddy's Bar. Is it actually open yet? I've not been following. Um, is he? Sorry, Vinny, I'm tapping my pen again. Um, I saw a thing where he'd, he announced it about a week ago. Has he renamed it? Anybody want to tell me the gen? Stay on for a couple more minutes. Zoom is going on a T-shirt. <laughs> so nasty car hire. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, they're doing it up. Right, okay, fair enough. I suppose they're going to do a refurb, are they? Actually, now, now you mention that, Lynn, I think, didn't we say the other night when we were chatting he was doing it up or something like that? Now I remember. I wonder, I wonder what he's going to do with it. Will he rename it? Hmm, interesting. Does for, I mean, they can't keep it shut too long because they'll lose momentum of trade because it's not exactly, in, in my opinion, it's not exactly one of the better spots in Lost Chris. Um, it's a little bit off the beaten track, isn't it, up the top of the hill? But having said that, it's an established bar, so I'm sure they know what they're doing. Good luck to him. Uh, if it works, great. Uh, be a meeting place for a lot of his followers and everyone else's followers. Uh, so, yeah, good. Uh, Tim, are you going to go and vlog in there, Tim? If you do, ask him to turn the music down. Uh, Trisha, he's getting renovations over the month. No new name, no new name yet. 
Oh, right, okay. Nice one, Trisha. Thank you. Getting done out. Zoom t-shirts are on our merch site. <laughs> <coughs> I think uh, Tim's got the copyright there, Rich, to the Zoom t-shirts, I think. The Stride In. Striders, is that what he's calling it? Has that been announced, is it? Wow, that's, that's a bold move if he does. It's a bold move to rename it because I think it's been open years and the local sort of trade he's got on the regular holiday trade now it was Buddy's Bar and is that is that that's a massive brave change. Good luck to him if he is going to call it Striders. I suppose it sort of reinforces his brand, I suppose, doesn't it, if that's where he's going. Um, I think that's a brave move if he is going to rename it and uh, I wish him luck on that. Personally, if it was me, after all the years I've been in that sort of business... I'd be inclined maybe to consider it in massive, massive, massive thought. Uh, just suggestions, right, okay, see what happens. Uh, no new name yet for Buddy's all speculation. Do you think it's going to be the quietest bar in Tenerife now he owns it? Steve, I don't think it is, no. It's not, it's not been the quietest bar in Tenerife anyway. Um, and I think now Andrew owns it with his followership he's got. I don't know how many he's on. He's on thousands, isn't he? 50,000 followers, so he's got to be on 60,000. Uh, with that sort of followership, I mean, they all stop him in the street, don't they, when he's walking round. Um, and if he markets it the right way and doesn't do anything adverse that can affect it, such as, you know knock out one sector of his market or unless he does something silly then no I, I think it'll be busy um, it's got to be on it uh, I don't think other vloggers will be allowed in a bit like Tandori but, yeah maybe that, that's up to him If he, it depends on what he wants it publicising uh, Trisha there is a poll at the minute but is there a decision for the name yeah that's a good idea putting a poll up Um it's a good idea putting a poll up, but what he's, my only point there, Trish, would be he's relying on his followership, the opinion of his followership there. And I would imagine his followership will all go for the strider thing, but he's got to realise, and I'm sure he does, that it's not just his followership who are going to be visiting his pub. I think there's more people over the years who've been in there and know it as buddies than there are people who follow him. But I'm sure he's put all these things into consideration. Uh, he's a businessman. Um, so, you know, see what happens. Yeah. Wonder if he'll do one euro pint. Bit out of the way. Yeah, I mean, I know, I, know, I know roughly where it is. I don't know that area lost Chris that well. Um, but, you know. Um, Tracy's on. Hiya, Tracy. Not sure if you've seen my comment. Just back from Blackpool. Sorry, Tracy. I missed your comment. Uh, saw you. Seen you now. Hiya. Yeah. Have a nice time in Blackpool. You picked the weather, didn't you? Lynn, I'd go for a drink. We'll, we'll include it on our St. Patrick's pub crawl, Lynn. We'll pretend it's an Irish bar. Uh, used to watch him, but notice he blanked other vloggers. Stop watching because I can't stand negativity. Yeah, he, he does his own thing. Um, I, I think he still talks to a few people. I know he's had convo with Dan on a live. I think he's in contact with Tim, so he's not entirely blanked everyone. It's meant to be a friendly bar. No karaoke or entertainment or food. His regular customers will still be going. I think they do have a karaoke, Trisha. Um, I'm sure. Kevin Scotsman's channel is probably best because Kevin Scotsman Kev's walked past there a few times. But I'm fairly certain they've got like an in-house karaoke. But I don't think they have like entertainment like Shelley singers on, you know, bands and singers. But I think they do have like a karaoke thing just for, you know, the regulars. Uh, he's a great business. Yeah, I agree, Tim. He's he's a businessman. He knows the island. He knows he knows the market forces on the island. He knows the tourism sector. He can cross promote it with his other businesses and his other things he's got going on, like the car hire. Uh, I think it, it doesn't his dad rent properties. Uh, he's obviously he's got his channel. He can cross market it with them, and it should it should do okay. Uh, glorious weather at the. Just recovering, yeah. Tony Bennett, as long as he's got vodka, it will be there, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Stuart, 
Stuart, probably only a small amount of his followers actually go to the bar. Yeah, that, I mean, time will tell on that one, but at least he'll have them. He'll have some sort of uh, custom from them. Uh, his dad's a businessman, yeah, fair enough. Sorry, Tim, I am getting off now. Uh, Tim wants to go live, 20 past nine. Uh, Trisha, no karaoke. I could have sworn it had karaoke. Um, I might be wrong. Andrew will do good, will not judge. Yeah, time will tell. Like any, any new business, like any new venture, time will tell. But for the record, good luck to him. Uh, Tony drinks bar, no music, no food. It's on a complex. He said he's got to go with what they decide. I thought it was, I didn't know it was on a complex. I thought it was like in a row of pubs. Yeah, so there we go, guys. Been an hour and 20, or thereabouts. I'll let Tim crack on with his camera thing now. Um, Saf wants to go out. We've got to pick a couple of bits up as we do on a Tuesday night. So listen, uh, still 50 in the chat on my thing. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the Tuesday lives. It's just a chance for everyone to get together because uh, everyone seems to do their lives in the mornings like Tim or in the afternoons like Andrew and at weekends like Rick and Shelley. So it's just me giving everyone an opportunity to have a chinwag on a, on a midweek night. So really appreciate you tuning in. Welcome to new subscribers. Thanks so much for everyone's support. And thanks for Saf's, all the wishes you send to Saf. I do pass them on. I'll keep everyone updated. A couple of vlogs coming in over the next couple of days. Keep an eye out for them. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Look after yourselves. Watch everybody's content. Because without you lot watching us, we wouldn't be able to do it. Happy birthday to Tim, Neil and Lynn's Paul. But enjoy the rest of your night, Tim. You're an absolute legend and we love you so much. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you soon.